Hi, welcome to itsharts.com and in this video let's take a look at what is 2GL. 2GL are second generation programming languages. So they are second generation because they somewhere stay in between the machine language which is the first generation language and the higher level languages like 3GL and 4GL. Okay, so 2GL, the languages in 2GL, they are also referred as assembly languages. And they need to be compiled by an assembler to run. So an assembler converts the 2GL program codes into machine language so that the CPU can understand. So like a 1GL, they are specific to one CPU architecture, meaning that if you wrote a program in assembly language for a particular CPU architecture, you may not be able to run it on a different CPU architecture. So like machine language, 2GL is also dependent on the CPU architecture. So this picture shows how the languages uh, from machine language and assembly language, how do they interact with the CPU. So CPU is on the right side and since it being a hardware, it basically needs the binary inputs like 5 volts or 0 volts which are represented as 1 or 0 in the machine language. Okay, so the real input to the CPU is the machine language, ones and zeros. Okay, however, interpreting and writing a machine language is very difficult and that's where this assembly language comes into the picture. 2GL, they are a little bit easy to uh, code and they are kind of line based, meaning that each and every line contains an instruction uh, to the uh, what action that needs to be done. Okay, so if someone writes a code in assembly language, then they need an assembler to convert that code into machine language and then machine language will be executed on the CPU. So let's take some examples, take a look at some examples. Uh, for example, move ABC comma 12, that's a single line of instruction. What it tells is set the value of the variable ABC as 12. And one more example is add EF comma XY, where EF and XY are the names of the registers. Okay, register, you may think it as like a, a holder in the CPU where it holds some values. Okay, so this command says add the contents of uh, the EF register and XY register and save the result into EF. So like that, there are a lot of uh, commands an assembly language uses. So two GLs are generally used in kernel and device driver programming, which are still low-level programming. Thank you.